Reducing or controlling the feeling of shame. What are effective ways? Hello. In the second video of our series about the shame emotion, we will discuss effective ways to reduce or control the feeling of shame. In this video, we hope to provide a solution to the curiosity on this topic and bring awareness by offering a different approach to those asking this question. Let's start by emphasizing that awareness is one of the most effective remedies. You must be grappling with the feeling of shame and it seems that it has started to impact your daily life. Considering that you believe finding the answer to this question can help you improve your current situation. You should know up front that in this video, the expected answer to this question won't be provided. Instead, the hope is to instill awareness that can assist you in resolving this issue entirely. To achieve this, we need to open up and analyze both this question and the one asking it. Because the answer you need is right there within the context of this issue. Let's begin. Firstly, what is the individual asking this question attempting to do or achieve precisely? It is to suppress and control this issue, the feeling of shame. Fully understanding this opens a door for us to reach the answer we need. There is someone trying to get rid of the feeling of shame fighting against it or trying to suppress it in some way. This identity is not entirely you. It is just a part of you. This part is also the one experiencing the feeling of shame. You, on the other hand, are the awareness point observing all of this. In essence, there is someone within who feels shame and is at least trying to diminish its intensity. Shame, like all other emotions, is a messenger, and the receiver of the message is the one experiencing that emotion. Let's pause for a moment and set aside the attempt to reduce or control the feeling of shame. Instead, let's consider, what message might the feeling of shame be conveying to the character experiencing it? What exactly does the feeling of shame want to communicate to the character feeling ashamed? Now, let's return to our initial question where the answer is hidden. Searching for effective ways to reduce or control the feeling of shame is, in a way, being ashamed of being ashamed. There is an implicit acceptance within this situation waiting to be revealed. What needs to be revealed is the necessity to fully accept the situation without attempting to escape or fix it. Note that we're not talking about partially accepting the situation and trying to fix it. It is about accepting the situation as it is, entirely and with all its parts. So, what will this accomplish? You probably have a thought in your mind resembling, you and a few others are forced to deal with the situation created by the feeling of shame, as if no one else or at least not as many people as you, experiences the feeling of shame. It feels like it has become a recurring situation that haunts you. It must be the reason you are seeking an answer to this question. This question also indicates that the situation of experiencing the feeling of shame has turned into a cycle occurring at specific intervals and frequently. It seems that you have decided to intervene in this situation. In reality, the issue may be that you have not yet fully accepted the feeling of shame. Shame is an emotion experienced by almost all members of humanity at least once. While some individuals may have overcome or stopped thinking about experiencing this emotion, you might have chosen not to let it go. In other words, what is being expressed here is that the problem in this situation may not be the experience of shame or the periodic occurrence of the feeling of shame. The problem is likely your inability to align this feeling's experience with the image you have created in your mind, the person you perceive yourself to be. Now let's revisit the feeling of 
There's a problem here within this question. The cause of this sense of problem is not the feeling of shame itself, which is one of the components of the issue. Instead, it is precisely the part of you that asks this question and refuses to accept the feeling of shame. Now, with deep calmness and awareness, you should explain to yourself that this experience is a human one, that shame should be acknowledged not as a feeling that requires a solution, but as a messenger carrying a message that needs to be received. The clearest message in this situation is to confront the truth that you do not want to experience the feeling of shame. Shame, like everything else, will keep coming back to you until it is fully noticed by your divine awareness. It will persist until you embrace the feeling of shame with great love. There can be many contexts that could be expressed in this context. However, every context beyond this point will be unique to the individual. You may have heard or noticed similar things before. Now, you need to pause and re-evaluate all of this. If the answer you are looking for seems to be somewhere far from where you asked the question, then what you are seeking is probably not the answer to the problem. We will continue to explore content related to the feeling of shame and other topics. For now, goodbye.